how can you, you know, pay the extra cost or time and processes uh, of being sustainable while simultaneously keeping the related cost of managing your supply chain network to a minimum? How, you know, how do you balance that? Yeah. I mean, these, this is the struggle that, you know, all our clients are dealing with. Right. Okay. I think, I think, you know, one of the ways you do that is really kind of visibility and bringing new, new capabilities like AI to the forefront. So when we're thinking about, you know, S and P S and O P planning processes, mm-hmm. right. How do we get better data visibility? How do we get more scenarios factored in in the way AI can to reduce the the best result at the lowest cost, but also the most sustainable result, right? So we talked about just using one example. If we think about transport planning and we think about, you know, the best mode of transport for the least carbon impact, right? Then the the way we do that is by now in a traditional SNOP process, by giving a carbon impact score to each mode of transport. So that can be another factor that's saying, you know, this would be the more sustainable way to move your product, right? So again, I think it's using these, the data, the tools and the, the new capabilities to really give new visibility to the options. 